Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, a partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Forest Center TV video production program. I'm Lucas Sausenbaugh. And I'm Joshua Wright. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. The amount of money the St. Mary's school system planned to ask the county commissioners was a little too high for the school board members' comfort. They spent Wednesday morning recommending adjustments to the proposed fiscal 2021 budget to bring down the requested asking price. The superintendent has proposed a $234.6 million budget and originally expected and requested $113.1 million from the state of Maryland, but has received notice that the school system would only be funded $111.4 million. A prison reentry program based in Charles County wants to branch out to St. Mary's to help people turn pain into purpose. A group of three representing the New Roots program presented at the Youth Mentoring Series that kicked off February 11th at the Lexington Park Library. The Healthy St. Mary's Partnership started the series after mentoring groups met for a round table back in August. The goal for the series is to feature speakers, training resources, and more. Corey Johnson, member of the New Roots program, said they help young people and adults transition from detention centers or prisons to life back on the outside. A St. Mary's man does not agree with how the county requires some personal information from an individual when a zoning complaint is made to the Department of Land Use and Growth Management. The man in question, Peter News, who told the Enterprise last week he thinks he should be able to make a submission with a, about a potential zoning violation anonymously to avoid, as he says, retribution from the business or property owner being complained about. News was apparently told by the county that a business has the right to know who is putting in complaints. Currently, to file a complaint, a person must provide their name and some form of contact information, whether that be a phone number or an email address. Coming out of deer hunting season, the Maryland Department of Natural Resources reported that deer hunters took 79,457 deer during the combined archery, firearms, and muzzleloader seasons, spanning from September 6th through January 31st. The total number of deer taken was 3% higher than the 2018-2019 total of 77,382 deer. Frederick County led the hunting totals again this year with 6,358 deer, followed by Carroll County, Baltimore, and Garrett Counties. Now turning to sports. In the last meet of the winter season, athletes from Southern Maryland Athletic Conference schools departed with numerous individual titles and one team title in the Class 3A and 4A State Indoor Track and Field Championships at the Prince George's Sports and Learning Complex. Huntingtown boys captured the 3A state title with 55 points, leading a sweep of the top three spots for SMAC teams with North Point and Chopticon finishing second and third, respectively. Chopticon took home plenty of medals. Junior Zachary Wedding won the 1600 and finished third in the 3200 and joined twin brother Jeffrey Wedding, Junior Dylan McMahon, and senior Donald Literal on the triumphant 3200 relay and later that group took third in the 1600 relay. Lastly, to highlight women runners, Leonardtown sophomore Parker O'Brien finished second with the 4A girls 800 with a time of 2.21.92. On Wednesday, Grant Mills Hornets girls basketball team had a game against the visiting Huntingtown Hurricanes. After trailing for four points at halftime and eight points in the opening minute of the third quarter, the Hornets beat the Hurricanes 56-49, sending the Hornets home with their 20th and final win for senior night. Great Mills head coach Matt Wood says, I am so happy for our seniors. This is a special class that has played basketball together forever. For them to say that they won on senior night was one of the team goals. This news paper has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Lucas Ausenbaugh. And I'm Joshua Wright. Signing off.